Hey everybody! What you may be seeing is Legoville from a brand new angle. Because we're trying a brand new toy which we have seen up on our Facebook channel. And we're going to bring it to you in a whole new view. So you're going to see it in high def and full definition after the jump. Hey everybody, this is Nick Davis coming for you from Old World Tube and part of the Legoville playlist. And uh, as you can see, we're following the train around here and I am filming using our new GoPro truck uh, toy uh, just to see what things look out for this update. So it's going to be a bit weirder than normal. Um, but I want to show you how it works, how the GoPro works, how everything else works here. Should be a fun, fun little update, so follow me along and here we go. As you can see, so I'm following this train around, I'm going to pull back a little bit more you can see of it. We have extended the track, that means a new table went in. And it's all looking pretty damn good now, I believe. So, that's all good stuff for us. So anyhow, as we learn how to make this GoPro work, including basically figuring out we have to control it for our app and our phone, gives us some nice 4K views in a rather wide format, which I'm just, we're going to figure out how to make a bit less wider. So this one's going to be a little bit strange, a little bit of an experiment to show you Legoville. But as you can see, the train is running around quite nicely in the new extended track and the new extended table. Still going to need a lot more space going on here, but that's what happens. And looks like our nexus of, Nemes of Emmets are finally, finally come together. I tell you what, this is like the whole plot point for basically the uh, new Lego movie, I tell you. Scan around, you can see you've got a new basically siding here to basically park up the, uh, the train. And yes, you're all seeing the Hogwarts Express over that way. That's a whole new addition we've brought to this uh, the city. We now have what I call Hogwarts Land. We'll get some fencing in there, bring all our Harry Potter figures in, which will make for a good, good thing. A good, good good thing going on there and of course we've used the burrow as a farmhouse here and looking back there yeah we've got to paint this wall blue but we'll get to that not a problem as we take a quick trip around Legoville there's new 4D, 4D uh, filming looks pretty neat that does actually wow I feel so high def I can see the pores of my Lego figures little things have changed here and there We turn around the beach house now, which is really, really good. Really like what's happened there. And over here, that's what looks like we're all hanging at the, at the uh, town home. Just going to move the camera around a little bit more. I ain't got much to say in this update here today. We really have not, but it looks like we've got the, looks like the Easter Bunny's coming, which is great. But a lot of work went in this weekend. If you can follow the pictures over on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Legoville Town. That's facebook.com slash Legoville Town. Modifying this area here. We still have a lot of work to go. I've got space for one more table there, which should be fun. And we're going to expand upon Hogwarts World here, which should be interesting as well. Lots of light levels to play with, lots of fun to come, lots of things that's going to happen here. Looks like we've got a lot of time to do that as well. So, see my train running around. We're just going to do a couple of things here. We'll film it happening. First, we're going to stop her, change the uh, siding, get it all parked up. I will admit, I love playing with this train set, I really do. But man, does it take up some space. So we're going to press the button to basically uh, deselect. There we go. Put down the controller. 
give you one final look around and we'll walk around the city streets a little bit more add a little bit more meat to this video for you to see around going on that is the Hogwarts Express that is the classic Hogwarts castle we've had that for some time you may have seen them up on our shows requirement we finally just had to let them loose in Legoville to have a nice little theme park going on it's Hogwarts Park the dragon is from a creator set I kind of like moving the fact that I can actually move real close now that's really neat you can see some fun things happening here and there. Including the man in the bowler hat. Oh, that's going to be all about. Hoping you can hear my audio here pretty well as well. You can really see some interesting things going on here and there. Since our first time out of our GoPro. We're definitely seeing things from a whole new angle. So it's probably a bit smoother than my... Uh, usual film through the iPad. Have a little look around here, see some things which you wouldn't normally see because we can go in a lot of tights in there. Like in the state skate parks. I'm actually kind of enjoying the views here so I'm indulging myself. And a little scan around. We have a proper look at the pizza as well. Now, I'm really proud of this build. It's really nice. Nice little full mod. Mod? Yeah. I guess the mark of 7361 was the uh, leg set we built it off. And you can definitely see some interesting things going on here. Really like what's going on with Lego for this moment of time. We've gone back to the old formats are basically expanding at $100 a month now. All our loose money is kind of gone. Things are going to get pretty tight for us. Let's go the most, but I think that's going to be a sign for a lot of people around here too. As you can see, you can see like a whole new, a whole new angle. That's the back of the basement there. There's our shelves with requirement over there. And there's our Lego block set up over there. I'm going to get this pointed to the ground here. I'm going to bring it around. Just, just Thought we shall through my areas of interest, which you may or may not see normally because of the way I used to film these. But I think I've done enough indulgement for now. We've got Thor reading Dumbledore, that's interesting. And again, we turn to the Nexus of, of uh, Emmett. I'm pretty certain that's the plot for Lego, <laughs> Lego Movie 3. But uh, you saw it here first, kids. That being said, next couple of weeks are going to be more interesting than they should be here in the US. I'm not going to add any commentary to too much of basically. Find something to do, get a hobby, build something, chill, and all that kind of stuff. Remember during the Great Plague, Shakespeare wrote King Lear. So if you do get locked down, quarantined in that gods, I hope you don't. Use that time to create, make something wonderful, and expand yourself a little bit, because sure it's not gonna, sure it's gonna be a very fun time here for the next few weeks. So, and that's all I have to say about that. So this is Nick Davis, in a rather downbeat Legoville update, Legoville update number 30. I thought it would be more celebratory than this, but it's a little bit more down built than normal. So, we wish you all well, God bless, God speed. And this is Nick Davis asking you to like and share this video with all your friends and family. Get out your level bricks, build on, build whatever you like, have fun, enjoy, watch movies with your loved ones, read, write, draw, create, play and play well. Go take care now. See you real soon. This is Nick Davis. On behalf of the Legoville Playlist and Old World Tube, signing off. Go take care. Bye bye bye.